Welcome to the Happy Workaholic Podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman. Over the past 20 years, I've worked in beauty, luxury, corporate, and service-driven industries. I created the opportunity in these careers and in my own businesses that allowed me to travel the world, experience once-in-a-lifetime events, and build brands while providing my expertise to clients all around the globe. Life is short, and when you're given a second chance, you better believe I'm going to take it, celebrate it, and share it with you. This show is intended to elevate your mind, upgrade your business, enhance your life, and become part of a positive and uplifting community. If you are ready to take your business and life to that next level you deserve to be at, this is the show for you. Inspiration, motivation, and determination are what got me to where I am today. Tune in every week to hear from myself, other entrepreneurs, professional patients, small business owners, and fellow podcasters who will be featured on the show. I'm here to remind you to work hard, share your story, follow your dreams, and never, ever give up. Thanks for taking the time to subscribe to the Happy Workaholic Podcast. Today's episode starts now. Today's episode is brought to you by Everything is Messy, a book about resilience, reality, and personal development with recipes to help you live a happy, healthy, positive, and productive life. What you can expect from this book, it is a one-of-a-kind publication. You are going to experience a little bit of everything. Personal development, life lessons, real solutions, budget-friendly vegan recipes. There's over 20 of them in here. And proof that anything is possible when following the right formula. I want you to enjoy this journey when you read Everything is Messy. I want it to really make you think about the goals you have and the dreams you stop chasing. I want this book to help you get organized, be creative in the kitchen, level up in life, and I want it to make you believe again. You can, and I promise, have anything out of life, but you simply must put in the work. Use this book when you need it. Come back to it and, of course, share it with a friend. It is better to go through these times in life with an excellent support system, a good head on your shoulders, and a sense of humor, and the understanding that manifesting and visualizing an outcome can profoundly change your life. You guys, Everything is Messy is out now. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it on Barnes & Noble. Head to everythingismessy.com. You can check your favorite retailer that is currently available, the ebook and the paperback in the United States, in the UK, in Europe, in New Zealand, Australia, and Canada. I'm so proud of this book. And the best thing is that you can probably read it in about two hours or so. And the community to join with over 100 healthy recipes is completely free. So head to everythingismessy.com. Grab a copy of your book today, whether it's the ebook or the paperback. If you'd like a signed copy, send me a DM on Instagram at the Happy Workaholic. I would be more than happy to write a special message for you and your friend in the book, pop it in the mail. And don't forget to head on over to everythingismessy.com to see which retailer in your country, in your city is currently carrying the book as well as online and the link to join the free community where I have filmed over a hundred healthy recipes, how-to videos, and so many other life hacks, kitchen hacks. I have special links with brands where you get brand deals and there's so much more in the Everything Is Messy community. So again, head to everythingismessy.com, check out all the details, and I cannot wait to see you in the community. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Happy Workaholic Podcast. I am your host, Kellyanne Gorman, and you are listening to episode number 269. Now, last week and the week before, I was mentioning these money books I'm reading. And if you want to see which books I'm currently reading, which is all of them, they are located in my Amazon store. The link will be in my show notes. I will be saving that information for something later on. But what I do want to share with you right now is this incredible ebook called My Two Cents. It's written, designed, and completely created and self published by Tanya Ramirez. And you can go follow her on Instagram at Untamed Instinct. She's a very good friend of mine. And what this ebook is all about it's a long term financial growth resource guide and planner specifically for hairdressers and indie beauty pros. However, it works for everybody. There's so much information in this document from compound interest to market trends to investing with an IRA, incredible amount of resources. I mean, the dedication and time that she's put into this resource just to help people is unbelievable. The link will be in the show notes, but if you want to visit www.untameinstincts.com, you can grab it there for yourself. Again, everything will be in the show notes. Now, diving back into today's episode... I'm probably going to cry because this is the final episode of the Happy Workaholic podcast. And by the title of this episode, all good things must come to an end. 
And this decision has taken me a good six, seven months around the holidays is when I started really thinking about it. And nothing has taken me that long to make a decision on. And only a handful of people know. And I've been racking my brain, going back and forth. And there's just so much going on in my personal life, so much going on in my business. And I really just had to sit and think about this over and over and over again. And I have been recording episodes for four years. June 10th would have been my four-year anniversary for the show. And I like to start everything off with a new notebook. Whenever I have new projects, I always say, get a new notebook, get new pens, like create a new vibe for yourself and really like create new energy and create this momentum that will help you in the long run on whatever it is that you're working on. Today, I wrote on my last page of my notebooks that was like a sign because I have a new notebook for June and all these other things between my horoscope and the full moons. And everything I've been working on, again, personally and professionally, just really solidified this decision. So I know you're probably like, what the hell? This came out of like left field because no one knows, only a few, like I mentioned. And, you know, I created the Happy Workaholic brand and the Happy Workaholic podcast in June of 2016 when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And then in 2017, when I was diagnosed with neuromyelitis optica, NMO for short, I needed another way other than Facebook lives to share what I was going through to help other patients. I had this fire in my gut. Like I just, I always, my mission has always been to help other people, whether that's in business, in life, in the kitchen. I just want to help other people. I've always been in the, in the service industry and I was able to travel the world and create all these incredible opportunities for myself that never existed because I've always had this fire and sometimes it's his, like it just sizzles out and the fire is gone so you need to sit down and collect your thoughts and figure out like what's next and since 2017 when I launched the show I launched with a focus on helping other patients sharing my autoimmune diseases and helping others in business and life Now, when I was going through chemo and I was really sick and I was lying in bed, what I was basically doing, the only job that I could be doing, was helping people with their social media and then updating LinkedIn profiles. So then the show shifted into business, LinkedIn, and my life with an autoimmune disease. And then I got back into luxury travel, so I would share a lot of information on that. And then I shifted into launching series because that was the best way to organize all types of shows. You know, you're not just coming to listen to hear about my health stories. You want to hear about business. So as I usually do, I organized everything in a digital format so that I created different series. So I had the professional patient series. So I had other people just like me sharing their story. And then I brought on other entrepreneurs just like me so that you could hear their story and not mine where I had the honor of interviewing so many incredible entrepreneurs. That was for the I Chose This Life series. I had the Leverage Your LinkedIn series. I had the Sunny Side Up series. So many series, so many guests, hundreds of episodes, almost 100 countries. And this has been my life since... (laughs) Now I'm going to get emotional. (laughs) This brand has been my life for four years. I've shared every single piece of my life on this show. There's not one thing I haven't shared, not one. And my whole mission with this show was just to help one person, one patient, one business owner, one person. And I've helped thousands, thousands, which is insane. Like sometimes I just scroll back through all these messages and texts and I get and I'm like, okay, I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right. Because, you know, in business and as an entrepreneur, you always want to shift and change and do something new and grow. And there's just so many aspects that are always constantly revolving as an entrepreneur and a business owner. And even as a mom, like with children, you're constantly doing something different all the time, no matter how scheduled and routine you are. And trust me, I am that girl. So it's just really hard to keep working on something when you're not that person anymore. And I always love to work from 
the age of 13 when I was sweeping bagel seeds up at my parents' bagel shop. Like, I still love to work, but this brand just isn't me. It's like I'm looking back at my past life and I don't want to do that because I was misdiagnosed. I shared everything, every single aspect of that on the show. Then I shared that I couldn't find an attorney because of multiple reasons, which you can scroll back and listen to all those episodes. But then I shared the entire legal process, the six different medical malpractice legal cases, how I went about it, how I fought for my effing life, like over and over and over again. And then I shared the results and then I shared the doctor's names and I still cannot believe I don't have a cease and desist. (laughs) And that's what makes me a goddamn good attorney because I, not by the books, represented and won six cases. Like that's insane. I won because I'm alive. I've won because I've helped thousands of patients. Just the other day, I hit over a hundred reviews, helpful reviews on a Yelp review that I did about the neurologist. Like that's insane. I didn't even know that those likes and helpful notifications even existed on Yelp, but I had to go to every single aspect to make sure that I can help as many people as I possibly can in a legal way. And that's what I did. And then when I was done with that, I finally got back into business and then helping everything, everybody with the pandemic and just sharing so many things, especially personal regarding mental health. Like I know I'm not the only one that struggles with anxiety, depression, PTSD. And then I wanted to write a book. And, you know, I've spoken about this so many times where I was writing a book about this whole story that I shared on my podcast, but I'm like, I can't keep writing this story. I want my life back. I want like the happy Kelly prior to 2016. Like I want to write a happy book. So then I started writing my recipes. I really, I've always wanted a cookbook like my whole life. That was like on my bucket list. Like I have to have a cookbook one day. So I started the chemical free cookbook. And then when I was writing those recipes, it reminded me of the stories and what I went through and how I came out of it of why I created that recipe. And most of it was, most of the time, it was when I was going through chemo, to be honest. And then when I was healing from being misdiagnosed and withdrawing from the chemo and the multiple prescription medications I was on, I wanted to write a happy story. And that's how everything messy happened. I wanted I wanted to be able to help even more people with my book. And Every single thing I've ever created has never been the norm. And why should my book? So even that I struggled back and forth so many, so many times. Like, should I write two books? Like, nobody's ever done a book like this. But that's me. Like, that's how I'm different. I like personal development, personal growth. I like being in the kitchen. I should just say I I love because it's not true. Like, I really do, truly do love helping other people. And especially creating healthy recipes. Like, I've been posting them on the internet for, like, I don't even know, over, I mean, for sure over a decade. Since my first blog in, like, 2006, I think. And, you know, food changes, our body changes, our diets change, and our minds and body, everything changes. Growth is good. And growth is scary. And for me, recording episodes every week has been hard sitting on this information for the past six months, going back and forth, trying to figure out, like, do I end this show? Like, who do I become? And I just want to become myself again, you know, like my own brand, because, um, and I don't want to keep recording things about the past. It's time to move forward. You know, once I finish my legal cases, once I got past the pandemic, once I took a break and, you know, dealt with my PTSD and, really journal it out for the last six something months and um, ask branding experts, podcast experts, my best friends, like, what do you think about this? <laughs> like, they're like, no, like, you can't, you can't do that. And I was like, but it's not me. Like, and then I have other people that are like 100%. Absolutely. You know, so it was basically like half, half. And that's really hard when it, you have to make the decision. And the people that you're asking for advice, it's 50 50. It's really like, shit, what do I do? So I've come to the decision to officially end the happy workaholic podcast on a high note. 
episode 269. We're in 82 countries. I've helped thousands of people. I'm so grateful that, (laughs) now that I get emotional, that, you know, you've listened to every single week, or maybe you're new. You've followed my journey. You've left me reviews. You've sent me messages. You text messaged me. You shared an episode. All of that matters so much to a content creator. You have no idea. When you sit down and you write notes and you figure out a game plan of how you can help other people, that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of energy. So for those of us that do that, we just hope that we can help one people. But for those of us, us that do that. We're doing it for a reason. We all have a reason. You just don't come become a content creator to, you know, create content. Like you have a fire inside you, whether it's with business, with life, with food, with books, with podcasting, whatever it is, you have a purpose and you feel that. And that's why you're doing that. So for me with the show, it, it's fizzled out. Like the fire is gone because I'm working on new things that I want to be able to share with you, but I can't do that while I'm the happy workaholic, if that makes sense. Like I don't resonate with this brand anymore. It's not me. It reminds me of being sick. It reminds me of all the trauma and it's hard to explain to people, especially new followers that why that brand came about, you know, because then I have to look back in my life and explain like the whole story, which don't get me wrong. I have it down like short and sweet to the point, one sense. And then the response I usually get is like, oh my God. And then they'll go listen to a bunch of episodes, but the show has, you know, moved around so much with my life where now where I'm at with my life, I'm just a different person and I don't want to keep looking back. I want to move forward and I want to take you along on the ride with me. So here's the deal. June 1st is when I'm going to start promoting a 10 day countdown because sorry, the 31st, because my birthday is on June 10th and every June 10th, I always launch something. I did it with the show four years ago and I'm going to do it with something brand new again this year, something bigger, something better, something on a whole new scale where I can help even more people. And I would love for you to be a part of it. The first announcement is going to be on my birthday to my newsletter list. That's it. So if you would like to hear this huge announcement and become a part of what, and this is not like a sales thing, it's just, I want you to see it first because I've been working on this for months and I'm working on it because I'm so passionate about helping even more people on a whole nother scale. So in order for you to hear the news first on my birthday, I'm going to be 43, which is also insane. And I don't even feel 43 because I'm finally feeling like myself for the first time since like pre-2016 when all of this happened to me. And you could probably hear it in my voice. Like I've changed as a person. I've changed as a business owner. I've changed as a friend. I've changed as a podcaster. Like everything in my life has completely changed. And it's insane to like go through something like this, like a full circle moment. Like I've never experienced that before. And now I am. And it's like, okay, I have to really sit down and like make these really hard decisions with myself and figure out what's next. So the announcement will be going out in my newsletter on my birthday, June 10th. So that link will be in the show notes. All you have to do is just sign up to receive my VIP newsletter. And then as a thank you, you also get a bunch of documents automatically sent to your inbox to keep you organized in your business mindset and just all kinds of organizational tools, ones that I've been using for years. I just created this incredible Excel document that you can move around the figures and use it for your home and uh, managing your household, or you can use it for your social media and podcast stats, your affiliate money, your income, your household bills, your business expenses, whatever you want to use it for. It's really going to keep you on your A-game and keep you nice and organized. And I created that, I don't even know, it was at least like two or three years ago. So that's something that you get as a bonus for signing up for my email list. And then usually every week, what you can expect in your inbox from me is just more updates on what's going on in my personal life and in my business so that I can continuously always help you. That is my goal in life. It's why I'm here. 
I survived this nightmare of the last four years to, you know, stay on this planet and I got a second chance of life to like help more people. And so it's so weird to actually say the words out loud. Like this is my final episode because I wrote it all down on my notes right now and I'm not even looking at them. And I didn't like, it kind of hit me for a second, but then I was like, I'm going to be fine. I'm so excited for what's next. But now it's like, (laughs) I'm closing the chapter of four years of like, one incredible situation, (laughs) one depressing situation, one situation that Lifetime will probably be filming about sometime soon. (laughs) It's just insane. But I'm just like, so excited for what's to come. And I'm so excited to have you hear about it, see it. I've been posting a couple little like tidbits on my Instagram stories. But other than that, no one has any idea what's about to happen, which is also crazy because it's really, really hard for me not to share because I always pull my audience and my followers on Instagram and on Facebook and I get excited and I release stuff really, really fast. I mean, I wrote my book very, very fast and I just always had this fear like I'm still going to die thanks to my PTSD. So like I create something, I launch it so fast that I can help as many people as I possibly can because I still have this fear like I'm going to die in my sleep or I'm going to die like driving my car or I know this sounds like really depressing and like graphic, but I mean, this is just like my life. And so I think that's why I always release things like really, really fast. So for me to finally sit, this is how I know I've changed because for me to be sitting on this information, number one, for over six months, number two, creating all of it and not putting it on the internet is also very strange because I get so excited. I want to share it with you. I don't keep things like this under wraps. And this is how I know that it's going to be the best thing I've ever worked on because no one knows about it. And the fact that you're still here and you're listening to my episode, this is the final episode, 269. It's just insane. It's four years of podcasting, four years of hundreds of episodes, hundreds of guests, hundreds of um reviews and helping thousands of people and in all these countries, like almost a hundred, like I just keep saying these things over and over again because it's absolutely insane because I had no idea how to record a podcast when I launched this show. And I've said this a couple of times, like you can scroll back to like the first few and you can hear my fire alarm beeping because the battery was out and we couldn't reach it. And our house manager couldn't come to help us. So it would just always beep. So I didn't know how to produce shows even. So I was uploading my shows on with video files instead of audio files. And now four years later, I've produced over 20 different podcasts and developed over 20 different shows because I just put my head down, got to work and figured it out. And then other people online that were in my circle on the internet, on social media, asked me how I did it. And I was like, oh my God, I need to create something so that I can help everybody else. That's how that all flowed. Like that's all, that's how that all happened. And I had no idea how to record and how to produce and how to do graphics and how to do convert files and develop shows, write scripts, um, find copyright music, like anything and everything under the sun having to do with podcasting, I knew nothing. So take this as a prime example, like a lesson that if you're dying to do something and you don't have a budget, write it down, put in the work and just make it fucking happen. There is free resources, especially if you want a podcast. I have a podcast school. It's completely free. No strings attached. You just sign up for it. The link is actually in my Instagram bio. You can sign up there and you have countless hours of podcast school information where you can invest thousands somewhere else, but then you get me hands on. If you want to do a call afterwards, we could do that. But I am constantly creating content to help people. And I knew I had to put something together. Could I charge for the podcast school? Absolutely. Will I do, will I maybe do that in the future? Maybe. But when I started my podcast, I had no money. I was going through chemo. Like I was like so sick and barely making an income. I'm like, how am I going to pay somebody to help me do a podcast? I had no idea. I taught myself every single thing that I know. 
And if you read my book, that will absolutely help you get to a place where you need to be like I am now. And it's always on sale. So check Target, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. It's in a bunch of local retail stores here in San Diego. You can message me on Instagram. Ask me which ones. If you want a signed copy, I can absolutely send you one and pop it in the mail this week. Just send me, again, a message on Instagram or Facebook. And I'm just going to wrap up this show, I guess, because that's the story. And it's my final episode of the Happy Workaholic podcast, number 269. We're going out on a high note. We're going out (laughs) nice and emotional, per usual. And I'm so excited for you guys to check out My Two Cents, this brand new ebook. The link will be in the show notes for that. The link will also be in the show notes for all the money books I'm reading. So I'm going to give you the 411 in my next couple of newsletters on all those books because they're really, really good. I think I'm on like my fifth book now. But if you want to check out all the money books that I'm into, they are in my Amazon store with a ton of new products in all different categories like beauty and wellness and office and appliances. I just recently uploaded a whole boatload of new products that I love that are on my Amazon store. And I'm just excited to, you know, share more in my newsletter that will be going on on my birthday, June 10th. And that will be the official announcement. But I just, again, want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for just like following me on this crazy journey (laughs) because it's been four years of one hell of a ride. (laughs) Seriously, like, I can't even believe, like, one, I'm still alive. Two, I represented myself in six medical malpractice cases where I have the top litigators still contacting me, asking me how I did this. And three, like, is this real? Like, is this really my life? It sure is. And, um, I'm just so lucky that I have another one. (laughs) You know, I got a second chance at life so that I can continuously help others create a larger platform and really take everything I've been wanting to do to the next level because now I'm not sick and now I'm not on drugs and now I'm not depressed and it's taken me so long to get back to this like feeling of like who I am because I was so doped up and so sick and now like you can probably always I always say like you will always hear it in my voice I am one person that is so real when it comes to like the Instagram stories and like meeting in, me in real life. I mean, I always use the same filter on Instagram stories. That's a given. And it's right there. So you always see like, I'm not about to be in full hair and makeup every day when I want to show up because I'm on a mission. I'm trying to create this new project and content for everybody. So I always add the lash filter. That's the only thing that's fake, but you could see because it's there. But Other than that, like I'm 100% real and what you hear in my voice and what you see, what I do, like it's always 100 and if not more, I put my heart and soul into every, literally every single thing that I think of. And it's just still so crazy to me that like I haven't mentioned anything and it's taken me this long to make this decision of finally like becoming myself again because that's like literally how I feel it's the strangest feeling I don't really know how to explain it in words but it's just so crazy because here's an example like I was in LA last week for um personal and professional reasons and so I was there and my last meeting I had was after I had gotten my hair done And my friend had asked, um, oh, you still go to this person? It's actually Tanya. And I said, yeah. And she said, oh, yeah, I haven't seen her since the pandemic because, like, everybody's finally now getting their hair done. But um, I I miss her. And I I was like, you know, Tanya? And she's like, yeah, I've been going there for years. You introduced us. I have zero memory of that. And I actually didn't even tell either one of them this story. I forgot. But I need to now that I'm saying it, um, sharing it with you. But I have no recollection. So when I was in LA this time, it was like my old self, like before I even moved to Vegas, like going to meetings, like sitting in the traffic, like, but a new, better version of myself because I went through all this bullshit the last four years to become a better version of myself so that I can help more people on a much larger, larger scale. And that just proved it as well. Like 
my God, like it sucks to think about. Like I have no memory just because of all the chemo and the drugs. But then on the other hand, like, and I literally have been racking my brain. Like when was the day? Like I'm trying to remember like when I introduced them (laughs) because I have zero recollection. But other than that, you know, I asked the advice of the three women that I met with on Friday and they all said the same thing. And it's also weird because the two out of the three I haven't seen in years and they never um, were around me when I was sick. So that was also weird. So it was like I was stepping back in time and that really helped asking all three of them their opinion, like help me solidify like what's about to happen and what I'm about to share with you. So um, I'm just looking at my notes because I just, I, it's the last episode. I really can't like forget a thing. Yeah, that's it. I literally got through it all. I've only cried three times, <laughs> maybe four. Who's counting? Um, also, I wanted to wrap up by saying again, how grateful I am that you've been here along for this ride. Um, you know, your messages, your reviews, um, your follows, and it just, it means so much. And trust me, these episodes are not easy to record. It may sound like it because I put my entire life out there, but they're really, really hard. I mean, I've gotten vertigo in the middle of so many episodes when I'm talking about mental health and also we're wrapping up mental health awareness month, but it doesn't mean that you should stop talking about it. I will always be vocal about my anxiety, my depression, and my PTSD because again, if I can help one more person, that's my mission because everybody deals with something mentally health, like mental health related. And we all have to deal with it on a different way, but it's good to hear other stories so that you know, you're not alone. And I thought I was alone for the longest time. I was in the darkest place of my life and I would be having like the best conversations, um, with business partners and with my friends. But at the end of the day, you still will always feel alone. So I just want to share with you that you're not because you'll always have me. You know where to find me. This is just the ending of this chapter of the Happy Workaholic podcast, the ending of the brand, the Happy Workaholic, and the beginning of something pretty fucking epic. (laughs) That's all I can say. And I still cannot believe I haven't shared a thing and that also this decision has taken me about six months, a little bit more, to be honest, because I think it was like around Thanksgiving um, that it kind of really started setting in after I released my book, because that was November 1st. And I I was riding that high. And now I'm finally doing book signings and promoting it and everything I wanted to do with my book tour. I couldn't do during the pandemic that I'm finally doing now. So everything is messy. Life will be messy, but it's up to you to make it organized and work best for you. You know, you've got to put in the work. You've got to journal it out. Be organized in your own way. You know, I write all about that in my book. So again, if you want to grab a copy of that, it's on sale, usually on Amazon, like every other week. But if you want to sign copy, you can reach out to me. But from the bottom of my heart, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> like, I just can't believe this is like the last episode of the Happy Workaholic podcast. It took me an hour and a half to sit down and record this episode today. I was... I've basically redid my closet, pantry, office, bedroom this whole entire week because I had crazy writer's block and I was questioning whether or not this episode was going to happen. So I've been, <laughs> I've been going through my room and throwing shit away and I can't like, and especially with the full moon, like I always end up doing projects, but I bought these magic erasers because I have uh, marks all over my wall. And I just used two of them. I have like one little piece left. (laughs) I was scrubbing my walls, blasting music, trying to figure out like, is this the last show? Is this really about to happen? Because I didn't think I could like get my thoughts together. And I really didn't want to cry. But hello, it's me. So here we are. (laughs) But I just shows like how extra passionate I am. And I'm not even PMSing. But actually, maybe I am because everybody's getting it early with this damn vaccine. Anyway, so... I'm wrapping up the final episode. So crazy. This is so crazy. Thank you so much. Seriously, for the bottom of my heart, for following, for listening, like everything. I'm just like, it's so surreal. (laughs) It's so surreal. I wish you could see my face right now because I'm like laughing and crying at the same time because I really want to share with you what's about to happen next, but I can't. So... 
what you want to do is sign, God, I'm like so stuffed up, is sign up for my newsletter because it's the only place where it's going to be announced June 10th, my birthday. I cannot wait to celebrate my birthday this year. Our mask mandate, I think, is lifted June 15th, so I missed it by five, but we're all kind of getting back to normal in California anyway. But again, thank you so much. Please sign up for my newsletter because I cannot wait to share this next information with you. And I think that's it. I'm signing up. I don't even know what else to say. Like, goodbye. (laughs) It's so weird. I didn't even like think of that because usually I say like until next time. So um, I will say that. I will say until next time because he will be for sure hearing from me again, but please make sure that you sign up to receive my newsletter on June 10th. I believe my birthday is on a Thursday and I will start the official countdown 10 days prior. So look out for that on my social, but thank you. Thank you so much. And you will definitely be hearing from me again soon. Your time is so valuable and I really appreciate you carving out a little piece of your day to listen to today's episode. If you liked this one, please share it with someone who you feel needs to hear this message. And don't forget to tag me at The Happy Workaholic on Facebook and Instagram so I can feature you on my stories. Listening on Apple Podcasts? I would love it if you would leave me a review on today's show. Your input means so much and also helps me create more of the content you'll love. Want to continue today's conversation? You can join us in the Happy Workaholic Network Facebook group. Simply answer the questions and you're in. For more information on myself and to get the latest in business, LinkedIn, organizing, and podcasting news, sign up to receive my weekly newsletter at thehappyworkaholic.com. I hope that your day continues to be happy, healthy, positive, and productive, and I'll talk to you again soon.